Hey guys, now I know this has been the most awful week all around the world, but for you guys with GCSEs, A-levels, university exams on the horizon, there is a whole new added level of stress with the educational crisis that we're all currently facing. And what I want you to tell you is that it is absolutely normal for you to be feeling all over the place right now, to have so many emotions going on about one, the fact that you're now stuck inside, two, the fact that these exams that you have been so motivated and working towards for the last few years have now been cancelled, and the uncertainty that all of that is filling you with. And it is completely normal to be feeling really stressed. The problem you've got is that the whole world is feeling pretty stressed right now and everyone has got different stresses that they are having to deal with. On top of that, you're now stuck in a household with people who no doubt, if it's anything like mine, if it's anything like my friends, you're finding that everyone in that household is also stressed and that might be work stresses, that's health stresses, that's education stresses. There are so many stresses on our plates right now. And when you're feeling stressed, one of the first ways of dealing with it is to try and get it off your chest and tell someone. The difficulty right now is that everyone around you is having to find out how to deal with their own situations. And that might mean that there doesn't feel, or there doesn't seem to be, someone that you can very easily open up and talk to. When I wrote the That Oxford Girl book, I actually did a whole section on finding your voice. And I did it in relation to the application process and being able to vocalise your thoughts. But this lesson applies right now. You need to be able to vocalise how you are feeling and get it off your chest. And a key part of that is finding the right person to talk to. So some of you might have somebody in your house that you find really helpful to have a chat to. It might be your mum, your dad, your relative, your sister. But others might be finding that there isn't anyone that they can open up to right now. So what I want to say is, firstly, get on your phone, get on your WhatsApp, get on FaceTime and try to find a friend who you can relate to. You guys are probably going through a very similar scenario right now with your studies, with your exams on the horizon, with the way that everything is changing. So jumping on FaceTime with a friend and just having a good old rant won't make it go away, but I think it will make you feel a bit better because sometimes just saying it helps. If there isn't anyone out there who you feel you can truly open up to at the moment um, or that isn't giving you the response that you need, try telling them the response that you might like. Do you just want somebody to acknowledge that it's rubbish? Do you want someone to help you plan how you're going to deal with the next steps? Do you want someone to help you with your studies? Whatever it may be, try and tell the person that you feel you can most relate to what you would like. And message me, message the TOG team. We are here for you. We've gone through the GCSEs, the A-levels, the university applications and come through at the other side. And many of us have overcome huge challenges during that process. Different challenges, yes, but obstacles and challenges all the same. And we can therefore provide you with guidance, advice, and just that bit of acknowledgement to say, yeah, you know what, it is rubbish right now. So drop me a DM on Instagram on that, at that Oxford girl or an email and we will make sure we get back to you with advice on how to deal with the coming months and we'll also be providing you with lots of content to keep you motivated and hopefully to keep those stress levels down. Really want you to know that we're thinking of you, sending you loads of positive vibes during this really tough situation and you are all doing amazingly.